Hello there and welcome to The Family Lab, a series of workshops designed to entertain and educate young children and to help all of you do coarse, simple scientific experiments from within the comfort of your own home. I'm Dav and today we're going to be doing the experiment reversing arrows as provided by the Institute of Physics. You will need the following, a pen, some card, a straight sided glass, a jug of water and something to act as a stand for the card. I've just used another glass. Take your pen and use it to make two arrows of equal length and width on your card. Make the arrows so that when they're propped up behind the glass, you'll have one near the top of the glass and one near the bottom, like so. Be sure to make the arrows also the same width as the glass. Position the card behind the glass so that you can see the arrows through the glass at the front. Position your glass carefully if you need to. Next, pour in the water into the glass. You want to pour it so that the water level is in between your bottom arrow and top arrow. Notice how the bottom arrow is reversed now compared to the top arrow? Pretty cool, huh? For this to work, the positioning of the glass and the positioning of your eyes are super important. So position the glass correctly to get maximum effect. And note that if you look over the glass, you no longer get the reversed arrow. So why does this happen? Well, have you ever put a straw into a drink and thought that the straw in the drink looks different to the straw outside the drink? That in fact, the straw looks a little crooked. This is due to a phenomenon called refraction, and it is exactly the same phenomenon that causes the reversed arrow. It's easiest to explain this using a diagram. On the top here, we have the scenario with the top arrow, where there is no water in the way. So we've got the arrow drawn, and the red lines indicate the path of the light that has been reflected from the arrow. So, the light travels in a straight line, hits the glass where it also travels through air, continues in a straight line, and then forms an image in the eye of the arrow you see. In the bottom scenario, we have what happens with the bottom arrow, where there is now water in the way. The light reflected travels in a straight line, like with the top at first, but now hits a boundary with water. In this scenario now, the light is bent due to refraction. This means that the image of the arrow that you see through water is different to the image of the arrow that you see through air. So in this scenario, you can see that the bending of the light results in the bottom of the arrow and the top of the arrow appearing flipped. Hence why, with the image that is formed, the arrow appears reversed. Now, the science behind this is quite tricky. So if you find that you understand it, 
brilliant. If you don't understand it, don't worry. Just enjoy doing the experiments at home with your family and friends. If you'd like to play about with the experiment a bit more, have a look at the impact of using bigger and smaller glasses, or even different shaped ones like this one. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye now.